That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. If you are a first-time visitor, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can get updates, like, and also share the video. Today, I found a very, very educational video from my friend, Cindy Hurst, who's been, who has been on the show on several occasions, and I might try to get her to come back on to talk about her video, which she had done some eight, nine, ten years ago, called Natural Woman. And when she speaks of natural woman, she's talking about being natural from your head down to your toes. And speaking of head, she's gonna, this video is going to be talking about the hair and how a lot of black women tend to want to straighten their hair for whatever reason. There's no tend to try to fit in, you know what I'm talking about? But look, check out this video called Natural Woman. And in the video, they were, they're going to be explaining the differences, why they chose this little synopsis. Uh, in order to get the real video, I will tell you more as uh, <clears throat> I uh, do my due, due diligence to find the link. So with that being said, check out the video, Natural Woman by Cindy Hurst. It's a little older video, but I think this is prevalent still today because there are a lot of young black women coming up and want to... Uh, and they're, they're, they want to fit in. But look, it's not the case. You don't have to fit in. Just be yourself. Wear your hair natural. Thank you. My next major event is going to be in Amsterdam. I'll be coming there to screen uh, my very first documentary. It's called Natural Woman. I think that it's going to be major. Uh, the film has been shown there uh, by a good friend of mine, Giselle. She's shown it there twice. And because of the um, huge response that she's gotten there, um, I just decided that I wanted to come over there myself and have this major discussion. Um, I believe that the film is still important. I did the film four years ago here in the States and it's still um, a major topic here. And I'm starting to realize that it's even more important uh, in Europe we have been dealing with as african-american women this standard of the so-called european beauty and uh, the myths surrounding that but really this film is about us being comfortable in our own skin in our own color in our own hair and um, i'm looking forward to having the discussion in amsterdam i'm ready for you guys i hope you're ready for me It's just, you know, how these images are set in everybody's head of how you're supposed to be. Everybody's trying to fit this one mold, and it's not right, you know? And, you know, my hair is a protest against that. The African lady was saying how she loved her hair. She wore a little fro. <clears throat> but she was saying that many of the women there were starting to get perms. And I can remember us walking through the store and seeing these little cheap perm boxes, you know, and I thought to myself, can I go to Africa and see natural hair? You know, why am I seeing perms here? There are layers of self-rejection that we've had as black people. I think the most external layer has to do with physical characteristics, whereby we didn't want to look like ourselves. We didn't want to be our complexion. We didn't want to have hair like us. We wanted to have hair like those people who we esteemed as being better than us. A lot of my friends have weaves in their hair, and so some of them started pulling my hair to make sure that it was real. Sure, I'm like mad over there. Yeah, he is. He's not what many kids do. Jay, why you didn't want me to get my hair like this? Our hair anxiety is just one manifestation of the numerous symptoms that that our oppression has generated in us. As we talked about earlier, the N-word, you know, the skin color thing, you know, all those things are symptoms. You know, they're baggage, I call it, psychological baggage, that oppression. 
that we brought out of the experience of enslavement, the initial oppression. Yeah, it's burning very bad. I'm ready to get it washed. Am I saying that everyone everywhere is, is immoral if their hair is straightened? No, but I'm saying that we really need to examine why we make the choices we make. Why do I have a preference for a fair-skinned African-American woman with straightened hair? Why do you have a preference to straighten your hair as opposed to let it go naturally? Why is there an aversion to seeing new growth or your hair is kinky or, or that being an insult to you if someone were to say that? It's, it's deeper than hair. I know that for sure.